Welcome back to Florida guys. I've been slacking. I've not got the video up until now on how to mount your string tracker. I'm just going to jump right into it because I'm actually going to go hunt tonight. So we're going to go around the top limb. I like the top limb opposite side of the arrow. What it does is it gives me area to see my string, kind of like a bow fishing reel, how you have it up a little bit higher. You can see what's going on with the string. You don't have to worry like, is it wrapped around this? Is it wrapped around that? You're just more aware of what's going on with it. So get her in position with the Velcro, give her a good twist, a tug, a pull, a jerk, and this and that. Don't twist and pull from the leather though. You're gonna twist and pull from the strap. And then once you got her strapped down, you're gonna take your two fingers and you're gonna slide her down that limb a little bit. And that just snugs it right up. Next, when you guys get a spool, back in the day, this is the biggest downfall of string trackers. Everybody was stingy with the string. They're like, man, I ain't throwing no string out. I, I need the whole half mile. Well, it's packed too tight in there. That's the problem. So it's gonna cause friction, it's gonna cause sound, and it's gonna cause all kinds of chaos. So let's drop that spool in, and I'm gonna show you how much you need to take out. Now, a few other people were asking when I built these things, why is there no stopper? Why is there no cork? I won't use the cork. What I did was I made this extra long so that way when I'm not using it, I could just tuck my string in here and I could fish it out when needed. But I don't want a cork because everybody that used to use these things back in the day, they would forget the darn cork in. They'd go to shoot and they're like, man, I missed my deer by two feet. Well, you forgot the darn cork. So I just kind of made this dummy proof. Now you can see, see how kinked up and everything that is? So we're going to pull out roughly. I'll do it just like this. We're going to pull out, I don't know. 100 feet, 150 feet. So we call one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. See, it takes a little while. I'm not even gonna count. So you can see, this is pretty well kinked up. And we don't want that when we're shooting. We wanna have more smoother loops and less friction. So I'm gonna take this thing to about, I think it's like 100, 150 feet out. You see it's starting to not get so kinked up right now. And what you want is you want to be able to, when you look down that spool, I don't know if you guys can even see with the shadows, you want to be able to stick your pinky in that hole. That's kind of like how I know when it's ready, is being able to stick a pinky in there. Actually, this is already feeling pretty good. Just remember guys, there's plenty of string on there. I'd rather have it shoot straight than not. A little more maybe. Yeah, a little more. That's it. I feel her. I feel her sliding now real nice. So that's it. Let's drop that. And that's it. And we'll throw that big old bald mess out. This can go in the trash. When you guys are done shooting, please, 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 please clean up your mess you know don't be leaving this stuff all over the woods you know i heard horror stories uh, back when these things came out and like the i think it's the 80s maybe even 90s when they came out pennsylvania was so covered in strings supposedly they banned the darn things just because everybody was leaving garbage around now this comes with a practice i'm sorry not a practice with a attachment so you could attach it behind your arrow see that little clip but what happens is we don't want to practice with this so I'm going to take that off, because if you shoot it into foam or something, you're just going to bust it all up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to wrap it around my field point and just tighten her down a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, because I'm just going to take a practice shot. But afterwards, when I use a broadhead, you can do this method. I just prefer to have the little arrow clip. All right, let's go take a shot real quick. Okay, so there's been a few questions, too, about what happens if the string breaks. Well, if the string breaks, say, 50 yards into your trail, and you're following it, and there's blood, and there's string, and all of a sudden the string breaks, well, cool, you just got 50 yards of free tracking. So, it happens. If it gets tangled and brushed just right, it's going to break. It just, it will, and that's it. But this is a leg up. This is not a replacement for tracking. You guys still got to know how to track. I might even do a video on how I track, because... Down here in Florida, it's hard. That's why, hence, I'm doing a string tracker. So, like I said, I tied that directly on behind my field point. And like I said, this is just a practice shot. Nothing exciting. There we go. 
So you see, I like this parallel. All right, let's get her out there. I'm not shooting far. I don't recommend shooting beyond 20 yards, especially if you guys are in light poundage and stuff like that, or you're not tuned well. You can, but it's gonna drop a little bit. Inside 20, I don't notice any difference, except it's hot here. Somebody's pulling in. All right, let's get this shot off. Gotta wait for the car to leave. Go on, car, shoot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's nice. So I took one practice shot, and now you see my spool. It's loosened up a bit more. There's plenty of strain, guys. Don't worry. Now let's go check this out. This was, huh, say 15 yards or so-ish. These new arrows are insane. Self-filming, guys. Sorry. So you see what happened here. First of all, the arrow just blows clean into this target. You see the stack of string. What happens is it's got that momentum going, so it's pulling the string out. So you could end up with a ball of string when you hit an animal sometimes. Once the animal runs, it's fine. It just takes up the last of it. But you can see no flight, no problems, no nothing. Now here's another one. I, I didn't explain this well the last time I shot. If you pass through the animal, you're okay. Because watch what happens, okay? Pass through. When the animal runs, you're going to end up like this. Because the arrow stays here, you're going to end up with two strings the whole time. I kind of like that because, like, just cool. <laughs> But it does use double the string. Keep in mind, we got a, about a half a mile of string in here, so it's only going to make it about a quarter mile. So if you guys take a lot of practice shots, yeah, you could run it. You could run out pretty quick. I'm hot. I'm going to go hit in the tree stand. I'm going to go kill a pig with this thing tonight. So thanks for watching, guys. You might end up continuing to watch more right now. I'm not really sure. If the video keeps going, it's because I killed something right now. And clean up your mess. Don't leave this in the woods, please. Okay, so I made it up in the stand. Problem is, I forgot my arrow clip for my string tracker to go behind this, so I'm gonna end up tying it on today. But I do prefer using the clips. Let's kill some.
stop <laughs> uh, shot entered a little high um, she moved a little bit but where it is I think I, I think I'm good I, I'm a little scared in no man's land that I am notorious for no man's land but we got the string tracker we got a good broadhead on there I mean <sighs> let's get down let's go let's go look at footage is what we got to do that's what we got to do and we'll, we'll figure out what's going on. I didn't see which way she ran. I was so busy messing with my string. I'm like, oh, 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 look at it. Okay, so that's one of the bad things about a string track. You want to look at the string coming out. I don't know why. Oh, oh I hope it holds up. I really hope it holds up. She made it pretty far. Oh, yeah, my spool's low. All right, here we go. Let me, I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna take a look for blood. See what the string's doing. All right, I looked at the footage in the shot. From what I can tell, she done. Knock on, hold on. Yeah. Knock on wood. But check this out. So my string is still up in the tree right here. See the orange string? And it just comes down right over here. Now look where I hit her. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh my god. Oh my God, it's raining. Oh, you gotta see this. Look at this. this. It is literally raining blood. And I have a string to follow. Oh my God. Like the ground is soaked. The ground is completely, completely soaked. You gotta see this. So she's seriously just spraying blood the whole way. Oh my god. Oh, holy cow. Hold on, let me get this camera off. Gotta see this. This may or may not be a good idea. I'm so tempted to seriously go after it right now. Let me look at this blood chunk. She's lung. She's straight up lung, completely. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after her. There's, there's so much blood. She's down, I heard her gasp for air. I just, I'm worried I'm gonna bump her. And what happened was is I cut my string tracker string up in the tree, which is a bad idea. Shouldn't have done it. Cause what happens is I made a big mistake. If I bump her and she ends up going real far, I'll lose my string that, uh, yeah. So maybe I should wait a minute. I have no clue. I don't know, I'm super excited. Let's go look, let's go look. There's a 
literally just follow the string right to her. Oh, that's not good. My string is up in a tree. She still made it a little ways. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Yeah, but look at the blood. Look at this. Oh, this is why I use a tracker. She's there. She's down. I think she's done. Done, girl. She's done. How is that for tracking? That is how it's supposed to be. Just literally, look at this thing. Literally, just following a string. Da da. Oh my god, that works so good. Look at the shot. I got no tripod with me right now. So, here, let me turn it. So that's exit. So my arrow did pass through, but must have passed through when she fell. Oh, there it is. My arrow is right here. Look at that. Still attached goes all the way out. Oh, there's so much brush in the way. Here's my pig. The good news is it's not far to drag. So I still can't believe that. How awesome is that? All right, let me get this thing out and I'm going to get a hold of Allison so she can bring the machine down and we can get this girl out. She's good. She's a fatty girl. I like my girl's chubby. <laughs> okay, so I finally got Allison to run the camera. Check this out, honey, look. So, well, she's right here because I dragged her to right there, but that's not where she died. But from the tree stand, she came running around there, hooks right down. Look at the, look at the blood. There's oh, literally blood the raining string. down the whole way. Here's the string. Here, look back here, look. It's insane. The whole thing, the whole stretch is completely blood, every bit of it. So she ran all the way down here. She went straight. I mean, literally, you could just follow the string. Straight through there, hooked behind John's, and then you heard it go, Bang! and that was it. She didn't move, she didn't flop, no nothing. Hmm. Look at the size of her, she's good size. So you could tell with that string too when she stopped moving. Or oh she yeah, yeah, I was worried that the string broke. Look, entrance, Ugh. let me turn her. So she was heavy quartering, mm -hmm. so I put it high, and then look, and then exit. Right so she there. Was quartering towards. What's that? Quartering towards. Quartering away, honey, because I entered back here and came out the front. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but she's a good-sized pig. Yeah, she is. Good there's a pig. there's a big boar though. Um, there's a huge boar out here. Right about 7:15, right before the feeder went off, he came running through over here. It started smacking his teeth together and everything. Ooh. I didn't see him, and then the feeder went off and he took off running and that was it. Huh. Yeah, look at that hole. Good looking thing. Yeah. Cool. Are uh, you get the skinner or are you gonna get ice? I'll go get ice. <laughs> I knew you'd say. I'm, I'm not. I'm but, not 30 inch thing. Well, guys, so. you can order these string trackers right on our website, omnivorousquivers.com. They mount on just about any bow. A few people were asking if they fit on compounds. We've not experimented yet. I think Lillian's coming down. I don't think I just we know anybody with a compound. Yeah, we don't know any of them, anyways. But, uh, yeah, it'll fit just about any bow that you could possibly think of. It'll even go on most self bows unless you get that big round handle. Let's go get her up. Let's go show Lillian. 
I gotta clean my string up in the morning. I'm gonna yeah. do it for tonight. Yeah, the arrow stayed in her until she got where she was and she flopped around and scrambled herself. So you got your arrow back then? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's right here. Look at this bad boy. Oh, and I forgot my arrow clip, honey. Look, I actually tied it directly on mm -hmm. and it worked. I mean, it worked no problem. I'm always worried about tying it on. Yeah. That uh, behind that, but I'll do it again. Well, well, I'll definitely do it again. Those new arrows, time. ready to go again. Nice. I just forgot these. But shot scared me. I thought it was high, and I'm not. It's just that angle. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's not skinny. <sighs> so I guess we're barbecuing tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. Let's go get a little lean. Come on. It's going to rain. Yeah.